What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to create custom shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Now Adobe Illustrator is primarily used to make vector images, 2D images, and overall to help create 2D logos. That's what Illustrator is mainly used for. And there's a function in Illustrator that allows you to create custom shapes and that's what I'm going to show you how to use today. So let's get started. So as you can see I have a picture of a bone here. And if I select everything that's on this document, you can see that I created this bone using four circles and just one rectangle. But I want to combine all these shapes to make one custom shape. So with all those shapes being selected, I can go over here to this little tool. That's called the Shape Builder tool. So if I click on that, with all these shapes still being selected, I can hover over just one of these shapes and it has some sort of a dotted pattern on it. That means I'm selecting that one shape. So if I click and drag that shape, it lights up with like this little red outline. But if I go onto another shape, like here's the overlap between these two circles, and I'm gonna hover over that, and now that shape is also selected. So now I'm gonna hover over this other circle, and now that's selected. So let me lift my finger off the cursor so I can show you guys what we did so far. So let me switch back to my regular arrow, and there we go, we got a custom shape already. So I selected the one circle over here, the circle over here, and the place where they overlap, I selected those all, and I created a custom shape out of that. So let me move those back to where they were, and now I'm gonna select this shape, this custom shape now, along with all the other shapes that I used to create this bone. So I'm gonna hit Command A to have those selected, and then going back to our Shape Builder tool, I'm gonna hover over this shape first, and as you can see, it's got that dotted pattern again. So now we're gonna hover over, you see this section? This little small section here, then this other section, and then the rest of the rectangle, and then all the same stuff up here. Hover over this circle, the intersection, this other circle, and once you've hovered over everything, you can lift your finger off the cursor, and now going back to our selection tool, you can see that we created a custom shape out of four circles and one rectangle. But now it's all in one. So from here on out, I can change the color of this bone if I want to. So here are all the different colors that I can choose from. Let's make that aquamarine. And then this box that's right next to it will be the stroke or the outline of our shape. So I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna make that a black. And from there, I can change the stroke by giving it a manual number by typing it into here or just using this little arrow and moving it up to adjust the thickness of the stroke. And as you can see, we got our custom shape. And now since we're still talking about the stroke, let's go to this little box right here that says basic. So from here, you can choose what the stroke would look like. So I'm gonna click this box that says charcoal or feather. And now the outline of this bone changed so that way it looks like this line. So I'm gonna adjust that so you guys can see that a little better. And that's what that looks like. But let me change that back. And there you go, that's how you create a custom shape in Illustrator. So let me switch to another document so I can show you guys how to do it again. All right, and as you can see, I have music notes on my screen. And to create this, I used five rectangles and four circles. And what we're gonna do now is combine all those shapes together to create one. So I'm gonna hit Command A to select them all. And then go to my Shape Builder tool, which is right here. And then I'm just gonna hover over every little shape. Like see this little crease right here where this rectangle is? You wanna make sure little stuff like that is selected. So this little rectangle right here. This little circle, this little crease right here. All of them have it, so I gotta make sure I get those little details. And this one up here. And then this stem, this little crease, and then this circle. All right, and now going back to my selection tool, I'm free to move this shape wherever I want. And I can even change the color of it. So let me change that to an orange. Let me make this blue. And I 
even changed the stroke of it. So now it looks like this. So that's the kind of result you would get if you were to make custom shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So now let me make a whole new document and show you how to create one from scratch. So you can hit Command N or go to File and hit New. I'm gonna make it 20 by 20. And you can also make custom shapes out of text and I'm about to show you how to do that. So first you're gonna go to your text tool, which is right here. I'm gonna make sure the color is on something other than a white and then all this text will pop up. So I'm just gonna use the letter S. I'm gonna make it into something that's close to the Subway logo because as you may notice on the Subway logo, there's like an arrow on one side of the S or what looks like an arrow. So first off, I'm gonna create the letter S and then turn it into an image. But right now we're just on to making it into text. So once you have it in your text box, you can hit character and then you can make it huge if you want. That's what I'm gonna do so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I have the S to the right font that I want to. I can always change the size of it, but I can also do that when I turn it into an image. So we don't have to focus on the size right yet. But what we can do is we're gonna take the letter S, we're gonna go up here to Object, then we're gonna go all the way down until we see the word Rasterize. And when we hit Rasterize, we're changing it from text to an image. So we're gonna hit that. And then it gives us all these options. So color model and resolution, we're not gonna mess with, but background, we don't want there to be a white background. So instead of white, I'm gonna check transparent. The rest of these we're not gonna worry about, so we're gonna hit okay. So now we're gonna go to image trace. I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna hit expand. So that way anywhere on this S, there lies some anchor points on there. We're not gonna do anything with the anchor points, but that's how you know it's a vector image now. So now we're gonna go to our white arrow, click on that, and we're gonna select everything outside of this letter S, which is obviously a white background now. And then we're gonna hit delete, and now it should be a transparent background. And now we're gonna add arrows to each side of the S. But when we go to add shapes, you can see there's no option to add a triangle. So what we're gonna use is a rectangle tool. So we're first gonna make it into a square. All right, and then we're gonna go back to our selection tool and we're gonna rotate it. So that way it looks like a triangle. But let me make that black real quick, black. And now having that selected, we're gonna go to our pen tool. We're gonna click and hold on it and go to anchor point tool. And we're gonna click on this anchor point that we don't want. So we're gonna click on that. Then we're gonna hit this minus symbol up here by the pen so we can get rid of that anchor point and transform it into a triangle. And then we're gonna go back to our selection tool. Then we're gonna rotate slash adjust this triangle however we want to make it look like an arrow on this letter S. And then I'm gonna hit Command C to copy this shape, hit Command B to paste, rotate that, and adjust that however I wanna do it. And there we go. So now all together we got three shapes. We got the letter S itself and two triangles on each end. So now having all that selected, we can go to our Shape Builder tool and combine all three of those shapes. So clicking on the Shape Builder tool, I'm gonna hover over this triangle and as you can see, it has that dotted pattern. So I'm gonna start here, this little rectangle right here that overlaps the end of the S. So I'm gonna hover over that as well. Hover over the S itself. You don't necessarily have to trace the letter S, but, make, but you do have to make sure it has that dotted pattern. And then hover over the triangle that's over here and then lift up off your mouse. And there we go, we got ourselves a custom shape. So from here on out, we can take this shape, give it a whole nother color. Let me give this a red. And then let me give it a golden yellow color. I can adjust the stroke if I want, and you know, do all that. And I also forgot to mention that the same process I used to turn text into an image in this video, it's the same process you would follow if you're importing an image 
to your document. So if you're importing a potential vector image into your Illustrator document and you want to combine that with a whole other shape, you would have to do image trace, expand, get rid of the background, and then you're free to do whatever it is you want to do with the shape. But other than that, that's how you do it. That's how you make custom shapes in Adobe Illustrator. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.